Well, after everything we've done, I don't think it's such a betrayal. Defecting to America? America's not so bad. Can we please? Such a good show. If you have not seen The Americans on FX, it's fantastic. And it actually ties right into a story that you have, Mel. Yeah, it is based on a true story. So uh, two Russian spies deployed in the 80s uh, from the KGB who actually started out in Canada first. They went to Canada, uh, to France, and then ended up in the U.S. where they were eventually busted. So I spoke with Michael Friscalanti. He is a senior writer with McLean's. They're out with a, an article today, an investigation he's been working on for six months, and he tracked the timeline from the parents moving here, assuming uh, identities, and then having kids. So have a listen to a bit of our interview uh, that happened uh, here. Late 1980s, the KGB uh, deployed these two uh, people, a husband-wife team, and when they came to Canada, they assumed the identities of two dead children, uh, Tracy Leanne Foley and Donald Heathfield. And their job in Canada was to become those people. They had the fake IDs, so they were trying to build the so-called legend, as it was as it was known. Uh, the, the father went to university. He even launched a business called Diapers Direct, where he delivered diapers door to door. The mother had odd jobs here and there. Then they had two boys who were born in Canada. So by the time they were here for the seven years, no one had any reason not to believe they weren't who they say they were, these Canadian citizens. And the boys, as babies, obviously were considered Canadian citizens mm -hmm. because they were born in Toronto. You also spoke with people who knew mm -hmm. uh, these spies, mm -hmm. sort of lived life among them. Mm -hmm. um, and, and what was the reaction from them? You know, it's interesting that I even tracked down one of the guys who worked as a driver at the Diapers Direct company that the father owned. And he had no clue. He had never even read that he had been busted back in <laughs> 2010. So he was just in a state of shock for a few minutes that that was happening. And then, you know, they talked about they talked about their experience with them. I think what stands out is that they were completely normal, which was their job, of course, right, mm -hmm. to blend into the background. And to it's too wild to be true, wild. and that's what makes it so compelling. Absolutely. Now, obviously, it's a little bit uh, uh, overemphasized and drama dr dramatized nice. for, F for FX. So, uh, but in Canada, their life. So, it was tracked. What was interesting? They lived in Toronto for a handful of years. The key to this story is Alex and Tim, who are the sons who were born in Canada, who are now in their twenties. Um, they got their citizenship taken away because the Canadian government said your parents technically worked for uh, a foreign government. So uh, they were employees of a foreign government, therefore you were never actually Canadian citizens even though you were born in Canada. Wow. So they are fighting uh, for their citizenship right now. So uh, what's interesting is that uh, there's so much more to this. I there's really so want to show more. you. I've got a full story running tonight on City News at 5 and 6 and then mcleans.ca for even more information on this one. It's pretty incredible. I cannot believe that. That's yeah. amazing. Okay, we'll it. be watching that tonight. Be right back on Breakfast Television.